Hey everyone, Tenja here, and in today's video, we'll look at September 24th to September 30th and see what I got up to in World of Warcraft. Starting off this week, I did level up another character. This time it was my Tauren Warrior. So if you're keeping track, I now have three warriors, a paladin and a hunter done. Next on my list, I think I'm going to knock my druid out. Also this week, I started messing around with level 7 delves. So far these aren't too bad, but I'll probably do them for a week and then I'll push into 8s next week. I still am enjoying these. I really like I can set the pace and AFK whenever I feel like. So far these are a great way for me to solo play the game. And I'm at the point where I'm starting to finish off most of my renowns, and this opens up a bunch of vendor mount. This week, I got my Ashka hat rep high enough that I could buy the Heritage Undercrawler. He kind of looks like a cross between a spider and a crab, but he is unique looking. The only issue I have is again he's a ground mount, and I don't see myself using ground mounts all that often, so I don't know if this one will ever make it to my bar. But besides doing that kind of stuff, I did make it into my weekly mount farms, so let's take a look and see how I did. The first thing I went after was the Scythe of the Unmaker. This drops in Antorus the Burning Throne off of Argus the Unmaker. So once I got over there and made sure I was set to Mythic, I headed in and worked my way back to Argus. Taking him down gave me attempt number 129 on the site this week, but I didn't see it drop, so I'll be back here next week. Next on my list was the Nihilotha Allseer. This drops in Nihilotha, the Waking City, off of Nizoth. But once I got over there, I headed in and I worked my way back to Nizoth. Taking him out gave me attempt number 16 on the mount this week, but I didn't see it drop again. So it's another one I'm going to have to come back to next week. And now I went after Vengeance. This drops in the Sanctum of Domination off of Sylvanas Windrunner. This is one I can't solo, so I have to find a group in Group Finder for it. Once I do, we head in, work our way back to Sylvanas and take her down. This gave me attempt to number 24 on the Mount Vengeance, but I didn't see it drop again this week. So I'll be back here next week, and hopefully I'll have a little better luck then. The last mount I'm currently farming is the Zareth Overseer. This drops in the Sepulcher of the first one off of the Jailer. It's another one I can't solo, so it's another one I have to find a group and group finder for. Once I do find a group, we head in and work our way back to the Jailer. Taking him out gave me attempt to number 27 on the Zareth Overseer. It's another one I didn't see drop, so it's another one I'll be back to next week. And just in case you're wondering, this week's transmog is the Love Witch's Attire. This initially came from the Trading Post. They did put a second version up, a black and a purple version, which you could buy off the end game store. It's something I didn't personally grab at the time, and I'm going to assume it will make it onto the trading post at some point in time. I may pick it up then. If this is a set you're interested in, you're just going to have to wait for a little bit till it pops back up on the trading post. Once it does, it'll be all yours. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. You can click on subscribe. Thanks for coming by and watching it. I'm going to send a hi to my best friend, and you all take care.